It occurred to me it might be useful to copy something that could not be copied. Something like the pyramids or the Empire State Building, for example. Something that obviously had to be brought to the copier in very small and relatively flat pieces. I chose the Chateau of Versailles because I had often jokingly claimed I would end by copying it, and because it was near the Rue de Varennes where I lived. For those who said, But that isn't Versailles, I had an answer. The best painting in the world doesn't show but two sides of a building, and it tells you nothing at all about the size or texture of it. What I picked was the exact size of itself, and so close to being real that if it were lying on the floor you would try to pick it up. In 1980, Patty Hill contacted Gerald Vanderkamp, chief curator of Versailles, requesting permission to photocopy the palace. I wished to copy a cobblestone, parts of his value to trees, anti-damp grills, graffiti, lollipop sticks, the embroidery on Marie Antoinette's bedspreads and draperies, and the king's left foot from the equestrian statue in the front yard, she wrote. Hill crisscrossed the gardens of Versailles in the early 1980s, gathering samples on the grounds to photocopy. Along with the objects that were copied directly, rubbings were made of some immovable architectural features, and these copied in turn. Only one subject from this work, an espalued pear tree, was exhibited at this time, in a group exhibition at the Maison de la Culture de Rennes, France, in 1981. Working with this tree was a turning point for Hill in relation to how she copied objects, or more specifically, how she placed them or arranged them on the copier. The time had come to take the copier by the controls and use it to make what I wanted, instead of waiting for it to reveal to me the shadowy secrets of the 21st century, as I had been doing. Hill devised new constraints, deciding to what extent she might adjust or move the tree's blossoms and roots. She copied to the worms and insects in the soil around the roots too, though the ants that appear in the work were drawn by her 12-year-old assistant after the real ants proved too small and fast-moving to copy. When Hill returned to the images in the 1990s, she also extended her technical range. No longer limiting herself to black and white copiers, she transformed her source material using coloured toner and etchings. Images were collaged and she added elements of fictionalisation, filling in what the copier missed and arranging the prints into large-scale composite grids. A book, Photocopying Versailles, was planned and even advertised, but never realised. Instead, the project culminated in the exhibition Patty Hill vers Versailles, presented at the Orangerie des Musées de Sens, 2003-2004, and the Musée Laminé de Versailles in 2005. 